Look how pretty he is. Big, pretty female that's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, he got him. He got him, look at that. Try to pick him up real quick. Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry that I did not put out a Christmas episode like I said. I was not able to, the holidays got the best of me and doing family stuff I did not have time to but if you guys want to see a Christmas episode you can go back on the channel and see just how crazy those lions and tigers get for Christmas presents. Anyway, today is not about animals at the zoo. Today, Liam and I are going to catch Spider-Man Agamas. With the new Spider-Man movie coming out, I figured, how about we go catch these crazy lizards here in Miami? Right now, we're driving. I don't exactly know where we're gonna go. I know some areas, but these lizards are absolutely beautiful. I will see you guys when we get to the first spot. All right, guys, so Liam and I have found the first spot that we're gonna try out. I've actually never really tried to hunt down these lizards like we're gonna be doing today. I've caught some of the females, which I think we see some up here, and we're gonna try to get on first, but the males are the really pretty ones. We're actually at a cemetery right now, and well, Liam is on the look, where, there he is. Liam is on the lookout for these lizards we've gone on some adventures before you guys have seen liam in some of the other videos he's trying to catch one now we're gonna see just what we can get on hopefully we'll get a big beautiful male because they look like this and this is how they get that spider-man agama name let's start looking around here and see what we can find we have our first girl right there can you see her the camera won't zoom very much but i'm going to try to get her liam's going to take the camera I'm gonna go around the back side and try to get him. Our first try was a failure. Um, I couldn't really see the lizard from the back side there. We also have a noose to try to catch these lizards because I think we're gonna need it. But let's try to grab one. We have some more over here. We got one little lizard right here. Look at that. So this is another invasive species. These guys don't belong here, as well as the chameleons that we catch, as well as the Cuban anoles that we've shown, brown basilisks. There are so many invasive species of lizards here in Florida. But as you can see, this guy, oh, he does not fit the description that we were looking for. So we are gonna keep moving. Liam's trying to get one here. Get it. Nope. There's one right on the back of this tree. I'm gonna try to get it. Liam is telling me Where's he at? Down, 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 right, a little up, right there. Right here? Yeah, right there, right there. I got him. Here, need help? Oh, oh, Liam caught him. <laughs> I had him in my hand. I had it by the tail. I didn't want to break it off. Look at that. Thanks, nice snag, Liam. Oh, he almost bit me there. Woohoo! We've got our first agama of the day so this is the red-headed agama spider-man agama 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 from africa sub-saharan africa it's okay buddy he's trying to take off they're lightning fast as you guys can see i'm going to try to get some clips of them taking off we've seen probably about 50 so far because these guys just spread everywhere you can see He's not so colorful though. He doesn't fit the picture description I gave you guys earlier either. Although this does seem to be a young male who will one day look like that. This is just a juvenile, so he's not gonna be born with those bright colors. Just like the chameleons, they gain their colors as they get older. Now the females look a little bit different, so we're gonna try to catch one of those to show you. But look, we've got our first little guy here. You just wanna run away. We're gonna have to take them with us because they are invasive. We can't let them back go. So I'm going to give these to one of my friends, but he's gonna go into the bin and we're gonna keep looking for more. There's a big, pretty female that's right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. She's going up just as they would in the wild. They go up into these cracks and crevices. Just impossible to catch. A nice female here, you can point it at her. She's right on the bottom of this tree. And try to sneak up. Down here, right? Yeah, Landon, come to the left more. Oh, you're right. I see her, I see her. Oh, she came down the floor. She's over there. Get her, get her, get her. Oh. These guys are just so, or girls are just so smart. They'll come around the tree. She looked at me and then she darted towards Liam and off she went. So Liam and I have resorted 
to other measures. We have a little loop here on the end of this cane pole. And as you guys can see, if I am the lizard, if my finger's the lizard, then that will catch the lizard right there. We use the same sort of noose when we're fishing for lizards in the Amazon. This should help us to get a little bit closer to the lizards without actually having to grab them by hand. Let's go look and see if our new contraption will work. Liam's trying to catch a big male. Oh, he just took off. Oh, he got him. He got him. Look at that. Hold on. Drop him to the floor. Hold on. Hey, don't try to bite me. I know. All right. Look at that, guys. We got our first true Spider-Man Agama. Let's try to get him off the noose. Cut the skin a little. He cut you a little bit. He got Liam. Liam, good job. Give me a pound there. Look at that. We got our first true Spider-Man red-headed Agama now. His colors are a little dull. As you can see, he's starting to shed. So that shedding skin is there and it makes him look more dull. He should be brighter than the bottom of his neck there. And typically, this is a bright royal blue color. I might have to mess with the exposure there so you guys can see it, but he's in shed, so his colors aren't that bright. He also has these crazy looking spikes. What do we got on the belly here? There's some flatter scales, but he's really spiky. He's really spiky going all the way up into his body and that armor acts as protection against predators, which is why, partly why, they do so well down here. These guys are insectivores and they thrive on eating insects. So they have a sticky tongue inside of there that they just eat up those insects all day waiting on the sides of the trees. But I'm done talking about this guy because we have to catch more. Liam just caught a nice one. What is that? That's a little girl right there. Oh look, she's grumpy there. You can see that, you can see that tongue there when she opens her mouth. And she'll bite you pretty good. I really don't want to get bit by her. Just a beautiful bright green color on her head, but not as pretty as the males that we're looking for. We broke the noose, so we had to get a new piece. And as we're walking back, Liam found a splattered one right here. Sadly, this guy didn't make it. Oh, oh, that's gross, dude. So Liam and I have been trying for the past two hours to catch these things. What we learned is this male who started off looking like this will get darker as we catch him and then he's in our hands before we can show you guys. I'm gonna try to get a really pretty one for you, but we haven't been able to do it yet. Liam has two beautiful girls over here. This is his girlfriends right here. So what these males will do is they're territorial. They'll hang out in an area have around 10 girls next to him, maybe some sub-adult males, um, but he's the only guy that's breeding these pretty girls over here. So he'll hang out on his tree. Usually they hang out on a rock or a tree, some sort of structure that they claim is theirs. That's their territory. He's gonna breed those girls, and then the other males, as they get older, will either fight with him or they'll move on to the next tree down, and that's how these guys spread so rapidly. And we are back at my house now. I've set up the Agamas in a tank as a temporary setup before I give them to my friend. He's gonna separate all the males and females and do whatever he wants with them. I don't really know, but I wanna check on them now because now that they've had a time to settle down, one of the males should be brightly colored like we've been looking for. I really wanted to hold a super bright colored one for you. I know I've been hinting on that this whole time. So let's see what these guys are up to back here. This male is pretty lit up for you guys. Just trying to show you here the glass isn't that clear, but he's got the bright orange on him, the bluish color. It's a little dark in that orange head. That is what we were looking for. Let me get him out. Woohoo! Look how pretty he is. Oh my goodness, he doesn't think we can see him right now. He's trying to stay motionless. Let me try to pick him up real quick. Oh, he almost jumped out there. Oh, look at him. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Calm down. Look at that. All right. So we have a beautiful Spider-Man Agama here now. He is pretty lit up for us. And he's angry, so he might get dark here kind of soon. Look at that. 
now I can properly show you why this guy is called the Spider-Man Agama. So what I learned with these guys is it's not just about shedding that can dull their colors, but actually when they go to fight with other males, they'll darken their colors and have some brighter spots on their back. When he's in a defensive position, you can see his head's already gotten much darker since we picked him up and I don't mean to stress him out I just want to share how amazing these little guys are with you so with that being said guys I am super stoked that not only did we find some of these guys but we also removed them from the ecosystem they are pretty bad for the native wildlife here although so many lizards down in South Florida are invasive besides the one green and all that we have done here that is native these guys aren't nearly as bad as the python problems as you guys have seen me catching the big pythons on the channel before but they are invasive so they do need to be removed and I'm so glad we were able to find some for you guys today. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more lions, tigers, snakes, lizards, alligators, whatever, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content. Like this video if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.